Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hallo gubar, Maxime here. A new update came out just now which focuses on something called texture streaming. I didn't cover the previous update since there wasn't enough fun to talk about, but I'll squeeze it in into this video. Before we go into it, I am back with CS Money, which is a marketplace and trading service for skins. CS Money is the only place that combines both the functions in one service. If you want to trade up some of your old items to get new new items, this is definitely the place to do that. There are a lot of skins to choose from and there are some good filter options so you can easily find what you're looking for. Be sure to check out all of that through the link below. So if you right click on CSGO inside Steam, go to properties, then under betas, you can opt into the new beta called texture streaming beta. That's a lot of betas. With this on, you get a new interesting setting under the advanced video category called texture streaming. What is this? Well, if we go by the info box, when enabled, it allows the game to delay high resolution textures from loading until they are needed for rendering. When it's disabled, it will result in more texture memory consumption. So when it's on, anything in CSGO that uses high resolution textures will not get rendered if it isn't needed, meaning it might improve your performance especially on them potatoes. To keep it short, texture streaming is commonly used to adjust the texture quality dynamically and could be useful for systems with an older graphics card, more specifically those with less than four gigabytes of video RAM. On Windows, you can check how much you got through the task manager by going to performance, click on GPU and look for dedicated GPU memory. Should say there how much you got. Now, even though I have eight gigabytes of VRAM myself, I still tried a couple FPS benchmarks on Dust2, hoping to get that juicy whooping 500 FPS boost, but my hopes and dreams were massively ruined. I couldn't find noticeable changes or improvements in my FPS. So now I ask you, if you guys get better results? Let me know down below. I'll provide a link for the FPS benchmark in the video description if you want to use it. Don't forget to launch the beta version or else you will only experience what is known as placebo. Let's avoid them placebos, okay? Oh, and it's possible to still play matchmaking with this beta. So if you are only in it for the global grind and you want to rely on texture streaming, then have fun. Many of you might ask if this feature is somehow connected to Source 2. Could be. But I'm not going to sit here and say that it's 100% for Source 2. I simply have no clue. My guess right now, this is a step-by-step -step preparation for it. But that's all I can say. Now over to the previous update that I didn't cover, and I'll just summarize it because it's already been out for a few days. If you haven't noticed, picking up weapons next to nades is much more reliable now. But how? Apparently the hitboxes of the nades were too big, making it harder to pick up guns next to them. All this was discovered thanks to Berker, which they even thanked in the update logs. Thanks Berker, and sorry for most likely destroying your name. Before the update, you could pretty much stand in front of something tiny like this and you would still have 100 HP. The previous update basically buffed the HE grenades so you can no longer hide behind a tiny pixel and block all the damage. It is a bit easier now for grenades to actually hit you. I'm starting to finally feel like those $300 are being well spent. For anyone still playing the what's it called? Oh, hostage mode? You can now flash in front of hostages and still get blinded. Nice. Now the T's holding like this will feel the pain of abusing this boring game mode. W wait, what? Oh, and you know that short period where you got kicked because of the new pure server settings that came out? Well, we got some changes and even a new server command, which is on by default and was very much needed. It basically prevents major exploits, but still allows most players to join smoothly. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.